Look, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm gonna get straight to the point like I'm supposed to. Now y'all ready to get into it? Well, all right then, let's do it. Now, instead of bombarding you with a whole lot of bad news like everybody else do just for a few clicks and views, I'm gonna do the exact opposite. Because for the next few minutes, I want you to feel pressure free. You dig? We got enough going on with this COVID-19 situation, so I ain't gonna talk about it. But I do hope y'all out there being safe and paying attention. All right, now let's unpack some things, man. Because I'm a big fan, huge fan of the West Side Connection, huge fan of Ice Cube, huge fan of Dub C, huge fan of Mac 10. You feel me? And these guys, man, created some timeless music, timeless West Coast music. You know, if, if you guys like West Coast music, then you understand what I'm saying. It was a moment in time, man, that we'll never forget. You know what I mean? Um, but in an interview with Vlad TV, Mac 10, who who never does interviews. I mean, he does them, but it's rare. You know what I mean? And when, it's like when he do the interview, you might as well just like shut off all the audio because you're not going to get anything out of this guy. Neither are you going to get anything out of Ice Cube or Dub C. These guys are like vaults, man. Like straight vaults, man. They don't say anything that they shouldn't say. They think before they say that, you know, I mean, it's like, come on, man. You know how I go. Since when have you ever got some exclusive information from Ice Cube? Come on now. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So I never thought I would I would ever hear the reason why they really broke up or did they break up or why they stopped making music. I, I never thought I would hear that come from any of them. I never thought I would hear Mac 10 diss Ice Cube, Ice Cube diss Mac 10 and Dub C diss, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I, I just never thought I would hear them, anybody get on the interview and say, yeah, well, that, that dude Ice Cube stole money, man. And you know, and blah, 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 you know, or Ice Cube getting on there like, yeah, man, Mac 10 was lazy, man. And Dub C, man, he's always want to smoke weed in the studio and blah, 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 blah. I, I just never thought I would, I never thought, and I know we will, we will never hear this. But in the interview with Vlad TV, Mac 10 finally sat down and he said why they broke up. He actually said why the West Side Connection broke up, man. And it blew my mind. I mean, you know, if you guys want to hear it out of the horse's mouth, then go over. I'm going to put the link in the description. Shout out to uh, Vlad TV for the interview because uh, um, that was monumental, man. I, there's a lot of fans out there that really wanted to know what happened, you know. He didn't go into super, super duper deep detail, but it was enough. You know what I'm saying? He told us enough. I mean, he didn't say, yeah, man, I, I swung first and, you know, and then he, he hit me, he tried to swing and hit me with a right and I went down, but I got, you know, it wasn't nothing like that. You know what I mean? But it was enough information for a true West Side Connection, true West Coast hip hop fans could really just feel like we got something, you know what I mean? Like, we, we got something here. And I feel like further along in these interviews, uh, Mac Ted is going to unpack a little bit more. Maybe, maybe not, because, I mean, those guys are gangsters, man. You know, Dub C, Mac 10, Ice Cube. I mean, whether, I'm not saying they gang bangers. I'm not saying they gang members, you know, out there, you know, with, um, you know, on the block shooting up ops i'm not saying they doing that you know what i mean or they out there like on the corner you know or going to the swap meets asking dudes what set they from i'm not talking about that kind of activity okay i'm not saying they are they out there selling dope you know in their communities and and you know paying dudes to put hit out hit hits out on other ops and all that that's not what i'm talking about gangsta is not that that's not i'm not saying gang banker okay Gangster is what I'm saying. Gangster. You know, when you gangster, any real gangster know what I mean by being gangster. You know, and, and you know, these guys are just closed books, man. And they only open them open themselves up and let us in and make us privy to certain information, man. You know what I mean? And I think that, you know, Ice Cube had to know that Mac Ten was doing his interview, or if, if he didn't know he was doing his interview, he can trust that Mac-10 
would not divulge certain information. You know what I mean? Because, and Mac-10, I can tell because he's gangster. You know what I'm saying? He lives by a certain street code, by a certain code. I, I don't want to say street code because we got to kind of shake that mentality of, of street, street mentality. And we just got to live by a code. We got to have a set of rules, you know, a, a set of morals and standards that we live by, you know, and not call it street. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to be viewed as street, but I do have a code of ethics that I go by. You know what I mean? I don't want to be obligated to a street code because street codes, I think, are cliche and that puts us in a box. And a lot of people that abide by street codes, man, it seems like they never get out of that box. But if we just abide by these morals and values, we'll be all right. So anyway, if y'all want to hear that interview, head on over to Vlad TV, man, and check that interview out and listen to what my guy, my dude, Mac 10 had to say about beating up Ice Cube's um, brother in law. OK, um, it's crazy, man. You know what I mean? It's real crazy. But I, I want you guys to check that out, man. And, you know, he says he says that he tried to um, he tried to warn Ice Cube like five times and Ice Cube didn't do nothing about it. He also expressed his views on how Ice Cube handled it, you know what I mean? And how he would have handled it, you know. But ultimately, that was, that was the reason why they broke up, man. And we ain't getting no more West Side Connect. We might get it. But anyway, you can love me or hate me, but you can't make me or break me. It's the comment beast. Peace. And I try to keep this under seven minutes. Peace, y'all.